Okay, here we go. The most popular series on the channel by far. Three stocks I'm buying in July 2020. So guys, without wasting any time, please smash the like button down below. Last month's video got only 689 likes. I think we can beat that here. I think we can do a much better job on this video. So help me with that. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're brand new here. And let's get into stock number one. So I made a video earlier this year on 3M and since then the price has been more or less stagnant for this company. In fact over the last one year the stock is down around 8.7% but with the dividend yield which I will get into it does reduce these losses quite significantly. Guys, 3M is a conglomerate. They are nearly a $100 billion company that provides materials for so many sectors in the market. They are generally seen as a market bellwether, meaning investors look to the stock to see how the overall health of the economy is doing. When 3M is booming, the economy usually is as well. And when 3M is struggling, that usually signals that there is a weakness ahead or we are going through some tough times. The last couple of years, the charts for 3M have been signaling a slowdown, but of course with recent situations that just amplified everything. Nonetheless, if we look at 3M's performance back in 2008 during the last recession, we can draw many similarities as to what we're seeing today. The stock declined around 57%, spent some time around the 200 moving average on the monthly charts, and then led the way for the recovery of the economy. Now what we're seeing today is a very similar, a 56% decline, finding support again around the 200 moving average on the monthly, and maybe now we're gearing up for a bounce and a recovery, which of course won't happen overnight, but could easily play out over the next couple of years. In 2018, the stock was at $260 per share and has tumbled quite a bit, but if you're like me and you're willing to hold these types of companies long term, it's hard to argue with the value that this company is showing us here today. Now, I briefly mentioned the dividends for 3M and this is one of the strongest points for the company. They are committed to shareholders through dividends with 61 years straight of dividend growth, over 10% growth on average, and a nice juicy starting yield of over 3.5%. Yes, the payout is higher now and will be for the next few quarters as the business continues to bottom, but they are still able to sustain this dividend, so I have no fears of this getting cut or suspended. Now, of course, when a stock is down 50% or close to 50%, there's usually good reason as to why that is, and it's no different here for 3M. The company is trying to be as transparent as possible to shareholders and that's another big reason why I like this company and they came out and said what their May 2020 results looked like. Sales declined 20% year over year for the month to revenues of 2.2 billion but I guess the silver lining was that May this year had two less business days than last year. But still regardless the 20% drop that we saw is significant and the stock deserves to be down significantly as well and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Sales were down across all of their segments, some of them as little as 11% in healthcare, and some of them as much as 30% in transportation. And guys, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense here when you look at what's happening in the world. Manufacturing of transportation and electronics are only starting to get back ramped up right now. So this had a direct impact on 3M while they were shut down because 3M supplies parts for many of these manufacturers. So I would say that with 3M here today, you're getting into a massive blue chip dividend company at a pretty good value. Now I do believe that what we're seeing in the company is somewhat justified because they are hurt on a fundamental level here. However, if you're a long-term investor like me, you're looking three to five years or even more out for this business. These are some incredible prices that we're seeing right now. Even if the stock continues moving sideways for the next year or so, you're still going to get that nice juicy dividend. So just keep that in mind. If you do hold the stock, you're not going to be left stranded. At least there's something for holding it here over the short term. I would say that 3M in a nutshell is one of these companies that's safe, consistent, and stable. And I wouldn't really expect to double my money here in the next year or two. But over time, I do expect to double or triple my money, especially at today's prices. 
And it's funny because you always hear people go after these high growth companies to double their money in the next few months or year or whatever. But you know what? You can actually do that with these blue chip giants as well if you get them at the right price. And I believe 3M is pretty close if not at that right price right now. And within the next couple of years, I would not be surprised to see the stock at over $250 or $300 per share. Now, I have been buying 3M recently and I do plan to buy some more in July at these prices. And if you want to know exactly when I buy and what price I buy and all that kind of stuff and how big 3M is in my portfolio then check out the link in the description down below to our VIP membership group as I let my members know exactly when I buy my stocks. Altria is another giant company here and as of today it's sitting at over a 75 billion dollar market cap. This has a lot of similarities to 3M in the same sense that it's generally safe and I'd consider it a blue chip company even though it has cycles that it goes through. In the end though that dividend yield makes this company no problem to hold through ups and downs but more on that shortly. Now Altria is a tobacco company primarily but recently they have been expanding and experimenting in other spaces like vaping and green stuff as well. They are the dominant player in North America and there's pretty much no better company apart from maybe Philip Morris arguably when it comes to this space. Both Philip Morris and Altria used to be one company in the past until they split up and now Altria pretty much controls the North American market whereas Philip Morris is more a global player. So really when picking between these companies it really comes down to personal preference. I prefer Altria because it is US based and I understand this market better. The one year chart here for this company doesn't look all that great. It is underperforming the S&P by quite a bit, currently down around 15%. But again, with the dividend, it does soften that blow quite a bit. Very similar to 3M here, Altria just hit the dividend king list with 50 years of consistent growth. And on average, they raise this dividend by 10%. Payout again is a bit high right now, but it is expected to stabilize over time, especially if the investments that they're making outside of tobacco start to realize growth and profits. The star of the show here in my opinion is this starting yield at a whopping 8.26% at the time of recording this video which is absolutely bonkers. Now there are concerns about Altria possibly not raising the dividend this year or worse possibly cutting it which is why so many investors are fearful right now. Looking at their history, this company has been consistent on raising their dividend at worst every fifth quarter and sometimes even sooner. But in this environment, I wouldn't be surprised to see them wait a bit longer here. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe as long as they raise the dividend in this calendar year, it will still count towards an increase year over year and keep their streak going. Now in May they announced the next dividend to be paid out on July 10th. So clearly even through this crisis, they are committed to paying dividends. This gives investors confidence that even in worst case scenarios and you know doom and gloom in the economy and the world, the company will still put shareholders first. Now even if they do temporarily suspend or cut their dividend or just keep it stable here, I do still believe this is a great value at today's prices and it's very similar to 3M in the sense that I believe this is a stable company. It's a company that has been around for a very long time, gone through much, much tougher times in the past and I think they're going to come out of this much stronger. Although the stock has been struggling for the last little while, I think investors are still kind of just waiting on the sidelines to see how all of this plays out and once this company shows some sort of promise again, maybe one of their side bets starts paying off, I think that's when we'll see a lot of money start flooding back into this company and this could be another candidate to actually double our investment over the next few years. Now you may be thinking these are some boring picks Nick, why don't you focus on high growth companies? Guys this video is the main three stocks I'm buying in July. If you want to see another video on another series which are three high growth stocks to buy in July 2020, let me know in the comment section down below because I'm kind of on the fence if you guys want to see that or not and if you guys let me know I will make that video happen as well. So now let's shift gears a bit guys and talk about chocolate. There are many chocolate makers out there but Hershey's is the one I want to specifically discuss today. Of course this company sells and produces chocolate and that's no secret and during these times they've been working hard so consumers can enjoy the chocolate they want. But just keep in mind this company does not sell only chocolate. They are the number one player in that space with around 44.4% market share in the US but they also have the number three space with candies. They're the number one player in mints and they have the number three spot in gum and these are all commonly consumed products in the US. 
In a recent shareholders meeting that they had, they reinforced what they're doing right now, and that is that they're focused on their brand and products and will continue pushing through during these times. They're still focused on long term and nothing has changed on that regard, and this does give investors confidence in their execution over that long term period. Finally, they are calming investors here by stating that their financial situation is still strong and there's absolutely nothing to worry about. And really, if you think about their business and what they sell, you would really expect this during these times. Consumer Consumers are really stuck at home, they go to grocery stores, they use grocery delivery services, but their main source of food for the last few months has been through the grocery stores and that's where Hershey sells a lot of their products. In 2019, they posted 2.5% growth, increases in their margins and also increases in their EPS. For a consumer staple company, it's keeping up with that slow and steady growth that you would expect. Hershey's is also a company very committed to shareholder value and they do this through dividends with a long history of paying that out alongside share buybacks. Now I personally love seeing this from a company as a shareholder and I'm considering buying it because it shows me that this company does prioritize its shareholders. I see this in 3M, I see this in Altria and that does add a layer of confidence in my investment in these businesses as well. Now looking at their dividend stats here, we can see that they have 11 years of growth. So although they've been paying dividends in general longer, their streak is still fairly young. They are increasing the dividend by nearly 8% annually and with a payout below 60%, it's very sustainable and very safe. The starting yield you may notice is nothing really crazy, but it is acceptable I would say for a company that does consistently pay and grow their dividend. Over the last year, Hershey is down over 5.5% and when you factor in the dividend, it's a fairly small loss that you've taken over this one year period. At these current prices, it does look appealing though. And I wouldn't really say it's overvalued or undervalued here. But if you want something in this sector right now, it seems that Hershey is offering some pretty decent value at a fair price. Now Hershey is one that I have my eye on to add to my portfolio, but I'm in no rush to really buy it right now because I do have quite a bit of exposure to this sector in my portfolio. But if we see a big sell off in the broader market where Hershey gets pulled down as well, this may be one of my top candidates to add. So out of these three picks today, I would say my favorite by far is 3M, followed by Altria, and then Hershey makes the number three spot. I think if we see all three of these stocks go on sale even more in July, I'd be buying 3M quite heavily and then funneling a bit more money into these other two picks possibly. But either way, what I'm trying to get across is that I like focusing on these safe, stable companies that are providing deep discounts right now because what it provides me is a consistent dividend while I'm holding them during the short term volume. Volatility. But over the long term, I do suspect that these companies will outperform the SP 500. And not only will I continue receiving those dividends, which keep growing, but I'll also enjoy some capital appreciation as well. So, guys, remember if you want to see that three high growth stocks of video, drop that like down below and let me know in the comment section down below. We're trying to get a thousand likes on this video. I know you guys can make that happen, so help me out here on this one. Either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.